The other day I was shopping in Trader Joe's for last minute things for Shabbat. I was approached by a gentleman and he says, oh, how large is the Hasidic community in Santa Fe? I said, two or three. Oh, so you're Chabad, obviously. I said, yes, I'm Chabad. And you're saying that your community, I said, no, my community is, thank God, we have quite a few Jews involved. But as far as the Hasidic community, my immediate family is probably the only Hasidim in Santa Fe. This week, we are on a threshold of an amazing campaign, amazing project. We are going to finally move out of this beautiful, beautiful synagogue, this beautiful building, in order to continue the renovations and to finally complete the Jewish center, the downtown Jewish center, 6,000 square foot building with three floors, which is going to start this Monday. It's been some, we've had some challenges. We started a couple of years ago. We're still in the middle. And finally, finally, we brought it. We're at the point where we're going to start the last two floors. We're going to finish it and complete it to be able to open up a beautiful center. And some of you are questioning. Some people are asking, what's the purpose of this beautiful center? What is it to serve? Why do you need such a space? I'll tell you a little story. Last week, we had the amazing pop-up yeshiva. It was run by my son-in-law Mendel Wallowick together with my other son-in-law Levi Sharpstein and my daughters-in-law Musi and Rivka. And one of the people who came who signed up came in. His name was Ron. Ron came in and asked, is this the pop-up yeshiva? So they said, my son-in-law said, yes, we're here to study. What would you like to study? He says, I don't know, I don't really want to study anything. So why did you come? I would like to find out more about you. And he told us a little bit of how he grew up. He had his bar mitzvah about 50 years ago in New York. And he had his, father, his grandfather was very religious, observant. He prayed every day, put on tefillin, etc. But it never connected with him. There was a certain gap between his grandfather and himself, even though he used to admire his grandfather, it never meant much to him. And after his bar mitzvah, he didn't feel really connected. It wasn't a meaningful experience, and he left it all. So we started chatting and discussing what we do here, what, uh, about Judaism, and I asked him if he would like to put on tefillin. He had his bar mitzvah, but if he'd like to put on tefillin. He says, you know, I never did it in my life. I said, oh, this is a special time special moment for someone who would never put on tefillin. So we put on tefillin and we prayed and we meditated. And at the end, it was very emotional. And he said, this is what I was missing. This is the connection that I was missing. I had Judaism, but it was a certain emptiness. This feels the con- alive. This feels meaningful. Another woman joined, a young woman, and she said she lost her mother this year. A couple of months ago, her mother passed away, and although they were Jewish, they never really practiced. They never really connected. She went to two bat mitzvahs. Her mother really didn't want them to know much about it. So she never, really never, con- never connected, and never practiced, never involved. And then because her mother passed away, she wants to find out more. She wants to start connecting and finding out more about her heritage. So where do I begin? She asked me, where do you begin? We spoke about candlelighting, Shabbat candlelighting. We spoke about giving charity every day, studying Torah. And my son-in-law Mendel continued studying with her the ethics chapters of her father. She was very inspired. Those are two stories of many what took place here during this experience of the pop-up yeshiva. Those are the reasons, those are the meaning. This is the reason we are here. This building, God willing, will be a beacon of light, a place where people could gather to experience Judaism, to have a good Shabbos meal, to sing, to connect with others, 
to inspire themselves with Torah study, for children to study, for adults to study. God willing, we'll have a deli for everyone to eat in, to have the nostalgia of Jewish, good Jewish food. Eventually, we may have a, a museum here, a Jewish museum, a beautiful, thriving 16,000 square foot Jewish haven in the center of Santa Fe. This Shabbat will be the last Shabbat we'll be here. And next Shabbat, God, we will be at the temporary space on Marquez. We invite you tomorrow to a grand Kiddush, the Torah study, to Torah reading services and a grand Kiddush to say goodbye for this phase and to open up a new page on the amazing Jewish center of Santa Fe. We invite you to join us on this journey. It's a $2.3 million project. To finish it, a total of $6.3 million project. We thank everyone who already was part of it, who already started, was involved, and we invite you to continue making this place a beautiful, beautiful center for Judaism that we can be proud of in Santa Fe. Shabbat Shalom.